Home prices continue to set records here in the Valley, but it's not just for buyers. Long term rent is also up. Here to talk about the study and the impacts, Senior Managing Editor at Apartment Guide, Brian Carberry joins us now. Good morning, Brian, how are you? Hey, Alyssa, I'm well, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So tell us what the study showed about rent prices on a national level first. Sure. So nationally, rent prices are going up. Uh, you know, we, we just pulled some new data actually just this morning, so I can give you some updated information. Um, you know, you're looking at one bedroom prices and two bedroom prices, both going up about 20 percent compared to this time last year. And if when you look at every individual state in the country, the majority of them are seeing price increases at the same time. So really, there's not a lot of areas where prices are going down. You may have certain cities and certain markets where the prices aren't going up as drastically as others. But for the most part, a lot of people are paying more for rent now than they were this time last year. Wow, 20% up nationwide and prices are up even more in Nevada. What did the study show about those numbers? Sure, so when you look at Nevada, actually when you, we dive into some of the cities in Nevada, so I looked at Las Vegas, Henderson, and North Las Vegas, you know, prices are up anywhere from 20 to 30% depending on the unit type and the location. Uh, Las Vegas itself had the steepest increase for two bedrooms at about 28% there. Um, prices there for a two bedroom apartment, you're gonna pay about $2,000 for that rent, which is higher than the national average, both for one and two bedrooms in Las Vegas. The value in your area is actually North Las Vegas, where prices are going up, but still below that national average. Okay, obviously this can have major impacts for renters. So how long is the cost of rent expected to continue to rise? You know, as anyone's guess right now, if we had talked six months ago, I, I probably wouldn't have told you that we'd be seeing prices increasing at the level that we are. So there could be some potential good news, though, that if you look at prices last month, the month before that, while they are slowly trickling up, they're more or less flat when you do a month over month comparison. This could be a sign of these rent price trends kind of leveling mm. off, or it could just be seasonality. Not a lot of people look for apartments in the winter. The hot time for finding a place is the spring into the summer. So potentially some cooling off, but it will really take a couple months to kind of see what that trend looks like as we get into March and April. And I know recently we've been seeing rental scams going on around town. So how can people use Apartment Guide in order to find legitimate places to rent? Yeah, unfortunately, anywhere across the country, you're going to have people that are going to try to take advantage of others, especially right now when there's not a lot of inventory on the market and people are looking for places to live. So really, the best thing you can do is when you're on Apartment Guide or really any site, but hopefully it's Apartment Guide and you're looking for a place to live, you kind of just kind of take a look at the photos, make sure it's everything looks good. The prices is, is it too good to be true. And then when you try to contact someone, you actually do get a response. If someone asks you to wire some money up front without ever seeing a place or a large amount for deposit, that could be a red flag. So just kind of do your homework, do due diligence and, and do things that kind of make sense to you. If it doesn't make sense, it's probably too good to be true. All right, Brian, thank you for the tips and uh, maybe not such great news for renters, but we appreciate your time anyway. Absolutely. Have a great one. You too.